Woohoo! Oh baby, I was just sitting down to edit a couple of my short form videos for the week to put on, oh, I just lost my pen, to put on Instagram and LinkedIn, and I realized that this would be a great time to showcase the new GPT-40, because it is insane, it is really good, it's definitely a level up from the last model. Uh, it came out, what, six days ago now? A week ago? Something like that? It's crazy, and it's a ton of fun, a ton of fun to play around with, screw around with, there's uh, tons of potential behind it, I see a lot of potential in like maybe ad creatives as well as the one that I'm going to be using today which is B-roll. Um, so yeah, there are tons more use cases that I'm going to be showing today but here is one that I think will help and I'm also going to do a quick rundown of how the tool works itself so that you can use it and play around with it yourself because it's super fun. In this video I'm also going to be using a custom GPT that I made that basically lets me brain dump everything that I have in my head and the ideas I want for the b-roll or image and then it formats it super nice so that I can just copy and paste the prompt into the generator so that it comes out looking super crisp and clean. If you would like access to that custom GPT link is below to my free AI community. Hope to be able to connect and create with you. I will see you in there. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's go, woohoo! All right, hopping in here. We're on the computer. Okay, so I'm, so I'm editing a video, right? And I'm like, oh, let's pop some B-roll on this. Cause there's a little part where I, I mentioned the creation cause I'm talking about like creating versus consuming. I remembered the verse of scripture that says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, okay, so my idea is it's like, God created the heavens and the earth. And in that point, I was like, oh, I need a piece of B-roll there. So the idea is whenever you have one of those moments, I have all of them written down right here, by the way. When you have those things, what you need to do, and I'm sorry if I'm not looking straight into the camera the entire time I'm on my computer, but the idea is we come into this, it's a little custom GPT that I made. And the idea is we can pop in everything in our brain. So we can just brain dump everything, all of our ideas, all the maybe visuals we have that could be cool for B-roll. So whatever you have in your brain, you basically just brain dump everything into this space bar. So like I have my little ideas on the sticky note that I wrote down before. You can either write them down or just type them, whatever works for you. So I'm gonna write down some sort of galaxy or something divine to express the verse of scripture in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth no subjects just the creation okay so then what it do, does is it's gonna ask you if this is video or image and I'm gonna do video because I want it to be b-roll right so it's gonna give me something let's see celestial epic a sweeping orbital shot highly detailed cosmetic Genesis scene featuring the swirling formation of galaxies okay cool this will be cool. Do, do, do. Okay, so the new model is insane. The, the new model is really, really, really good. Um, I mean, even just look at some of this stuff. I mean, are we kidding ourselves? That is sick, super realistic. The face got super, the face, um, the face recognition got way better. Like you can still tell this is AI, especially that last guy. But I mean, come on, that Keanu Reeves, that looks really good. I mean, dang, that is good. That was like really, really good. Just the actual, the generation itself. We got a little puppy cooking up a, cooking up a uh, little potatoes. We got Sam Altman, that's kind of funny. Sam Altman, excuse me, that's funny. Sam, Sam, it is insane. And th this is probably like the biggest upgrade is the text. The, it, it actually can take text now, which is, which is super sweet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come right here. I'm just gonna use the one by one cause that's what I'm gonna pop it into. I'm gonna pop it into like a little overlay and we're gonna see what this gives me. There's all these different settings. Let's run these, let's run through these really quick. We're gonna do image or video. We can do different aspect ratio, the quality. I only have plus, but on pro you get access to everything else. Um, I'm, not, I'm not dropping 200 bucks on ChatGPT. sorry folks. And then duration obviously um, can be longer with the pro version as well. Variations, you can have a couple variations. I'm just gonna stick with one for now. And then you can have a couple of different presets. I do not, I'm not playing around with those, but 
feel free to go crazy. Super fun. Okay, here's my t here's my prompt. I'm gonna pop it in here. So, so now we're in the queue. We're waiting. Maybe. Yep. Okay, now we're waiting. Uh, the videos typically take anywhere from like 20 to 30 seconds. If you do it lower quality, it's a little bit faster, but still really really fast. Especially if you have like a good kind of prompt, like like we're doing here, you're able to do some stuff that would normally take so much time. My this is my prediction. I don't know if this is good or bad. I think that b-roll like videographers that are on the bottom tier so people that are like just capturing b-roll footage and stock images those those people are going away they're done they'll be done definitely within like a couple years because this is a huge step forward it's just my opinion but hopefully they all level up and become freaking sweet all right cool we're all done here galactic burst symphony let's see what it gives me it's not bad. That's kind of cool, actually. But, actually, okay, so one thing that I do need, let's see if I can come back to here. I do need the prompt was good. Let's do warmer tones and a slower pan so that it's peaceful. I also want a little bit of contrast with darker spots on the shot so that I can overlay text on it, if that makes sense. Yeah, slow pans with long takes. That's what I want. I like this. Final resort should feel peaceful, sacred, and awe-filled. That's perfect. Okay. We're going to come back over here. Similar thing. Pop her in. Pop. Ooh, yeah, that's better. I dig it. Okay. Cool. One of one. Done. Love it. Is because the whole video, this little short that I'm putting out is like, I feel like a lot of my life, not a lot of my life, but there have been moments in my life where I consume more than I create. And I personally, one of my beliefs that I have is I believe in God. I believe he loves us. And I believe in a creation. And God fundamentally is a creator. That's who he is. Like he, he created everything created the heavens and the earth and everything. Nothing outside of what he created was created, right? He's the creator. And so I want to try and emulate that. I want to try and create more things, right? So one of the things that I was consuming too much, I think 99% of people can relate, is social media. So one that I want to have, I want a, a shot video of a close-up eyeball and the reflection in the eyeball a hyper realistic style a still intimate close-up shot highly detailed scene of a human eye with a glossy surface reflecting an instagram feed scrolling rapidly set at a dimly lit almost completely dark during nighttime yes there we go okay i'm actually really curious to see how this one goes because i don't know if they're really allowed to like do instagram you know i don't think they can just pop instagram on a on the reflection of an eyeball. So I'm curious to see how that how that is created. <laughs> well, it's actually kind of creepy. So a pro tip is you can take a screenshot of your output and then you can give it what you want, like what you're looking for, and then it'll kind of get the vibe of what the output was. Cause it can't like, from model to model, it can't go back and forth knowing what your output was. And this works really well too. Here's like pro tip number two and three. It actually works really well with like color grading. So you can pop in your color grade and then say, hey, I'm actually prefer, I prefer more of a warm tone or cool tone, or I don't know, the shadows are too harsh or the light is too harsh. How do I fix it? And it'll give you um, recommendations how to fix it according to the photo that you uploaded. Another thing you can do is um, do that with prompts themselves. So like if you're getting prompts from other models, you can pop it into the prompt and then say, Hey, this is an output I got for this prompt. And then you give it your input and say, I prefer it to be more like this. How would you refine my prompt so that it gives me a better output? So you almost like use the model to autocorrect itself, which is kind of sweet. So now for images, what's something we can make an image of? Let's try and be creative here. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out, I actually have a good idea. So what if we did, there's an iconic photo 
of Tiger Woods, oh, not Tiger Woods, of Tiger Woods right after he hit the shot. I'm gonna keep it vague just so that AI can kind of do something fun. Actually, and I want just do it to be on the image similar to all of the Nike. Let's see it. See what it gives me. <laughs> Squeaky blinders with mice. That's awesome. See, this is where I see it coming into, this is where I see it being super useful for like infographics. Like what? Instead of a golf club. Oh, that's gonna be great. Come on, that's freaking sweet. It's hilarious. Okay, cool. Here's the tool. Here's the custom GPT. Do you know that in the year 2024, the average Gen Zer spent nine hours on their phone? That is ridiculous. About three months ago, I realized that I was spending the majority of my time consuming, whether it was food, content, spending money. And I remembered the verse of scripture that says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I hope you found value from this video. Again, link is below to my free AI community. Hope to see you in there. And until the next one, peace.